welcome back to a new episode of the RD Insight series. This is Christina. Today, follow me to learn the different types of 3D printing technologies and get an insight into how to choose. There are seven common types of 3D printing technologies. Stereolithography, SLA, ideal for intricate models and prototypes. SLA employs UV lasers to cure liquid resin. Deluctive laser sintering, SLS, perfect for functional parts and complex geometries. SLS fuses powdered materials using lasers. Field deposition modeling, FDM, cost effective and accessible. FDM builds layers with thermal plastics. Digital light process, DLP, similar to SLA but uses a digital light projector offering high resolution and speedy printing. Multi-jet fusion, MJF. MJF uses a fusion agent and heat for detailed strong part and rapid production. Direct metal laser sintering, DMLS. Perfect for metal parts, melt metal powder with a laser for exceptional strength. Electron beam melting, EBM. Metal powder melted by an electron beam producing robust and intricate metal component. Material jetting, achieve high speed multicolor multi-material parts with exceptional accuracy. One, cost. FDM and SLA are budget-friendly choices, using common thermoplastics and readings. In contrast, DMLS and MGF, which deal with metals and advanced polymers, are more expensive due to higher material and machinery costs. Two, materials. 3D printing materials can be mainly classified into polymers thermoplastics and thermoset, metals and composition. For thermoplastics, SLS, MJF, FDM are the common 3D printing technologies. For thermoset, SLA, DLP, material jetting are the best choices. SLS, EDM, and DMLS would work on metal 3D printing while MGF is for composition 3D printing. 3. Manufacturing capability. Different 3D printing methods have varying manufacturing capabilities, including factors like thickness, accuracy, size, and support structures. All are vital considerations. For instance, DLP offers a thickness range of 0.2 mm while bender jetting can achieve up to 2 mm. As for dimensional accuracy, FDM is the latest accurate, while the SLA process is the most priceless. 4. Functionality of the finished part The functionality of the finished part is the priority thing you need to be considered while selecting a 3D printing process. The functionality could be the level of tolerance, flexibility, strength, and unique properties, like chemical resistance, heat resistance, biocompatible, and even safe for consumption. For example, FDM 3D printed part exhibits lower tensile strengths, while DMLS 3D printed part showcases the highest strengths. Moreover, SLS and MGF 3D printed part display strong chemical resistance, while SLS, SLA, and MGF process can produce heat resistance part. 5. Visual appearance. Visual appearance is another priority thing you need to consider. SLA, DLP, and the material jetting excel in producing smooth surfaces and intricate details. These technologies are favored for applications where appearance is paramount, such as architectural models or intricate jewelry prototypes. FDM, wire cost effective, 
might exhibit visible layer lines on the surface. Now we have learned the five considerations of choosing different types of 3D printing technologies. Remember the guidelines for choosing. One, define the purpose. Require functionality or appearance. Two, compare costs and properties. When multiple processes can produce parts in the same material. Three, choose thermoplastics, SLS or FDM. Will require functional polymers part. Four, choose SLS or MJF if the visual appearance is a top priority. Okay, that's all for today's RD Insight episode. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts below. Make sure to subscribe Rapid Direct to stay updated with our future RD Insight episode. Bye!